I contracted HIV in 1996. I was married and had gone through a divorce and was in the process of coming out and contracted it very quickly thereafter. My name is Eric Winkler. I have a 21-year-old daughter. In a few days, I'll be turning 50 years old. Um, I remember the day, the actual day that I found out. I was first in line, and um, I just remember sitting in the lobby for what seemed like an eternity as people kind of, as other gentlemen kind of went in and out of the, out of the counselor's office. Um, and I was sitting there just waiting for my turn. Um, and they told me that my test was reactive. Um, I didn't know what that meant, but <clears throat> the lady explained to me that uh, that meant that I had HIV, and um, so I sat there. I don't remember anything else that was said that day, but um, I just kind of was numb for several weeks. Um, <clears throat> I had received my diagnosis while going through a divorce and a custody battle over my daughter, who was then less than one years old. I remember my attorney telling me that with an HIV diagnosis, or an AIDS diagnosis, I would probably only live two to three years. <clears throat> And he told me to give up the rights to my daughter and to just take the lawyer fees and enjoy the rest of my life. He recommended that I not be part of my daughter's life because it would be uh, more difficult for her to handle the death of a parent at a young age than um, the benefit that she would receive. Uh, I was very fortunate that I didn't listen to that advice uh, because my daughter and I today have a strong relationship. And so for me, um, experiencing that from an attorney who was on my side made me feel dirty from the very beginning. As a father with HIV, uh, my daughter has known my, her whole life that I've been sick, but she doesn't know the reason why. <clears throat> so this Thanksgiving, we were going on a hike together, and I'm gonna explain it to her. That's a big step for me and accepting who I am and trying to erase the stigma. I was first introduced to the Health Trust maybe 15, 18 years ago uh, through a fundraiser, which became an annual event that my partner and I went to. We always saw the Health Trust mission statement on the menu or as part of the table decoration. And I used to read it and think, oh, that's nice. You know, oh, that's nice but I never thought. I never took the time to understand what it really meant. Until now. Uh, when I was at the height of my career, um, my partner and I separated. Uh, the company I was working for was sold, and I, my job was eliminated. And then uh, I cashed out my 401k, and my house was foreclosed on, and I became homeless. And I was too proud to ask for help, and I didn't know where to go to ask for help. I ended up in the hospital, and a friend of mine, who is a donor at the Health Trust, came to visit me and suggested that I come to the Health Trust as a client. And I asked him why, why would I go there? And he said, because they can help you. I've received help with it in benefits, I've received help in getting my glasses, I've received help in dental work, I'm getting some job coaching, because at 50 years old I'm going to re-enter the workforce. I've been participating in the Jerry Larson Food Basket for several years, and uh, it's given me a whole new perspective on the Health Trust as an organization, the Health Trust as people, Really, what it boils down to are the people that are there. At 30 years old, I was planning to die. And at 50 years old, I'm preparing to live. Life isn't perfect. I don't have all the answers. 
but the Health Trust has given me the guidance, gave me encouragement to get back on my feet and go for my dreams. Since I've been single again and started dating, I'm surprised that very few people ask me what my status is. It scares me that nobody asks about it because people today just don't realize that it's still as serious as it's always been. But once you get HIV, you have HIV. It's that simple. So what does the Health Trust mean to me? The Health Trust means that I have a safe place to go and just be me. It means that I'm gonna get personalized attention, I'm gonna get a shoulder to cry on, I'm gonna get the direction that I need to get back on my feet and be self-sufficient so that I don't have to rely on other people to help me through the day.